I'm Steve Bull, and this is the Malibu Wake Setter MXZ or MXZ 22. If you're serious about wakeboarding and or wake surfing, then I guarantee Malibu is on your short list. They are the big boys in the big wave world, and their boats do not mess around. No corners are cut and no gadgets left off. As you can see, it kicks out a tournament quality wakeboard wake. But it's no one trick pony. Now we got it set to the surf setting. You can see a nice big clean wave, lots of push. It doesn't start curling to a little ways back, so you got a lot of stuff to work with here in a simple touchscreen system. Now the surf gate system, the beauty of that is it doesn't engage until you're going six miles an hour. So when you're going slow, getting set up, you don't lose any of your steering. Once you cross that six mile an hour threshold, the gate will swing open, help make this huge wake. And out of the water, back here under the water line is where you can really see a lot of the neat technology. First of all, not neat technology, just clever design is this exhaust, the underwater exhaust to make sure you don't have fumes right here when your kids are riding behind the boat. Second, they have a second generation power wedge, the Power Wedge 2. Now this is fully deployed all the way down and when it's down like this, it actually works as a hydrofoil, lifting the stern of the boat up to make a smaller wave. So great if you want to do some water skiing. When it's somewhere in the midway range, it helps kick water up, make a bigger wave. And of course, you have the patented surf gate system the two big paddles on either side here that go out. Now, if you want the wave on your port side, you kick the surf gate on the starboard side out, and it will force the boat kind of to turn a little bit to the starboard, which forces the whole port side of the boat into the water. Every action is an equal and opposite reaction. That means all that water comes rushing back here, makes that nice surf wave for you. Of course, with any surf or wakeboard boat, you need to have a nice swim platform low to the water. Of course, you have that right here. Nice firm grips to climb up and the clear walker down the center. Of course, you have two seats back here as well with cup holders, stereo controls, and a ton of storage. Actually, at the very back, right back there, you probably see a little black hose. Now that's uh, a hookup for additional ballast bags if you want to put those in. On the G4 tower is the PTM clamping racks. Now, the best part about this isn't just that they clamp and release easily, is that they're on individual ratchets. So a wake surfboard is thicker and more fragile. So I'll use my hand to represent that. And let's say you also have a wakeboard board on top. So you pull it down. It's secure on my hand below, but it stops putting pressure so it won't puncture your board or break my hand in this case. And this one still gets more secure and you're ready to rock. So you can have different boards without damaging them. Clever design. The MXZ22 features Malibu's command center and has dual screens, including the 12-inch Malibu touchscreen to control the power wedge, surf gate, ballast, and stereo, as well as all the lights on board. There's also an analog dial to the left of the steering wheel for quick and basic settings. A nice touch. And it's a little thing, but after being on hundreds of boats and hitting the window here, it's nice that the glove box is on a solid hinge where it'll prevent anything from that. But still a bunch of room. You have your audio and USB input. And mobile. On the starboard side, you have huge storage that you can actually access from both sides. Or transport hockey sticks, I suppose this would be perfect. So a ton of seating, the bench shape U here in the cockpit, but you want to watch the rider, no worries. Nice, secure, and smooth. Turns in to a spectator's bench or judge's bench. Nice and secure. And when you're done, just as easily, back you go, rocking away. The bow lounge is deep for this style of boat, for a nice dry ride. And the pickle fork bow design keeps it nice and wide right to the front. This isn't an entry level boat by any means, 
But if you're serious about surfing or wakeboarding, it's hard to find things you don't love about this Malibu. It has it all. 